a collab with Makeup by Maxi. She is a young lady. Her name is Laurie. She has a channel. She does a lot of makeup looks like constantly. She is a hard worker. I think she has a video up like every other day, which she she just she just works hard on her channel. She does a very good job. I was asked to do a dark makeup look by a young man. Um, his channel is Dark Matters. He's He's been um, very, very supportive of my channel. So he was just like, why don't you do a dark look? Do a dark matters look. So I was just like, okay, I will try to do a dark look for you. And this is what I came up with. It is a very dark eye look. Um, normally something I would not do because I like reds and purples and pinks and stuff like that. But I was just like, why not? Let's, let's try it. So Lori said, why don't we do something together? And I was just like, why don't you try this dark look with me? So, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, stick around so you can see how I got it. I just pretty much did the eyes. So if you guys wanna see how I got this eye look, just stick around and don't forget to head over to Makeup by Max's channel. And um, also, this is a shout out, a big shout out to Dark Matters and hopefully you guys will check out his channel as well. I'm gonna have all the links down below. So stick around if you wanna see how I got it. Thank you for stopping by and I shall talk to you later. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with an eyeliner, an eyeshadow primer. I have already gotten all of my face stuff on because I'm really just doing the eyes and the lips today in a dark look, so. All right, so I'm gonna be using a few different palettes because I don't really have like a set look. So my first eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go right into is going to be the Made For Mattes by e.l.f. And I'm gonna take a matte transition color here and we're going for a dark look. So hopefully this comes out dark and nice and I look a little funky right now because I don't have anything but like foundation blush and you, I, I look a little crazy. But okay, let's go right into the dark for match. We're gonna go in with a transition color and we're gonna take um, this one here, right here. So it's the fourth one in, in the Made For Matte by e.l.f. And we're gonna take it right above our crease and out. And Okay, I think we're gonna go with the Alice in Wonderland palette again. And I'm gonna start with the color, we're gonna go into Time, which is right here at the very end. It's like a blue, black color. So let's try that. Right here at the end. Pull that in. It's definitely dark. And pull it up to the crease just like that. that is a dark dark color this is going to take a minute to blend out so take your time okay i'm going to go in with the elf c brush and try to blend that out a little bit So let's go with that. Next, we're going to take, we're gonna go into mirror, which is right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring some of that color here across the lid. The mirror is just a gray color. Okay, there's a mirror. Okay, we're definitely dark. That's what we wanted. Let's go in with the shader. I don't know if this is called the shader, but the fluffy brush. And we're gonna go into kind of a lighter color in the palette. Let's just dab into um, Bounder Snatch here, which is gonna be this color here. Do a slightly dab in there. And we're just gonna take it right above. 
just bring it up just a little bit. Back and forth. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this e.l.f. Molten Bronze. I'm going to place it right in the middle of my eye here. You just brush it with your fingers there. That brought a little bit of like glitter to it. And then we're gonna take a flat, um, which one is this? Dry to wet brush from Bare Essentials. And we're gonna go into two Royal Flush right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush. I'm gonna go right into Looking Glass, which is this top pink color, and I'm going to put it right above here on my eyebrow. To kind of clean that up a little bit. Let's take the same brush. I'm gonna take some Lily, which is this one here. And we're gonna dab it right here in the corners. Just like that. And then we're going to take a pencil brush, go right into time, and right under our eyes here. All right, since so this is a dark look, we're going to take a liner, but we're not going to overly line. So I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal liquid liner, the 24 hour liquid liner. It's in a pot. You get a little brush with it. I'm going to line my upper, or my line up here. But I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can to my lash line. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a liner and line the upper line, water line and the bottom water line. Just a liner pencil. I'm just using the 24 hour Georgiana uh, liquid liner pencil. All right, so I think this calls for some lashes. So I will be right back with some lashes on because it's gonna take me forever if I do not do it off camera. So I'm gonna put them on off camera. I'll be right back to put on lips. Okay, so that took longer than I wanted it to take. I have the hardest time with false eyelashes. And I totally envy anybody that can just get these suckers on quick. My sister-in-law, she has a channel, and it's Amy Ecker. She, holy cow, she can just pop those lashes on and have no issues. I have, like, the hardest time. Anyways, okay, so I've got them on. I don't have any mascara on yet, but we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just going to let these dry because they take a minute to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Hypno. I think Hypno is a good one for my lips today. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that on real quick. I'm going to go ahead and throw some mascara on. I'm just going to use this very thick mascara from Urban Decay, the Pro Provisions. Provisions. All right, so this is what I came up with today. I am doing this collab with a young lady named Lori, and her channel is Makeup by Maxi. So don't forget to head over to her channel to see what she came up with, and I will link her down below in the description bar. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.